Subrogation allows one party, usually an insurance company, to step into the shoes of another party, usually an insured, to assert rights that party has against another. However, an insurance company can't assert a right against its own insured for a claim arising from the risk the insured was covered for. But what if an insured recovers for losses the insurance company has already paid for? May the insurance company share in the insured's recovery? The Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court considered this question in Frost v. Porter Leasing Corporation. In the 1980s, Frank Frost was involved in a motor vehicle accident and sustained injuries. At the time, Frost had an insurance policy with the Union Labor Life Insurance Company. Following the accident, Frost submitted a claim with Union Labor for medical expenses totaling more than $26,000. Union Labor then paid Frost nearly $23,000 for his medical expenses under his policy. Subsequently, Frost and his wife sued the owner and driver of the other vehicle involved in the accident, Porter Leasing Corporation, in State Superior Court. In the action, Frost sought to recover damages for the medical expenses he incurred, pain and suffering, impaired earning capacity, and future medical expenses. Further, his wife claimed damages for loss of consortium. Union labor intervened in the suit, claiming a right of subrogation to share in Frost's recovery for his medical expenses. Frost and his wife then reached a settlement with Porter Leasing. The case was dismissed against Porter Leasing, and the Frosts and Union Labor disagreed as to how the proceeds of the settlement should be paid out. The Superior Court found that Union Labor could recover the $23,000 that it had paid to Frost, reduced by a proportion of Frost's cost in obtaining it. The Court reported the case to the Court of Appeals. The Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court then granted a request for direct review of the question of law.